Hello and welcome back to the channel. I want to weigh in real quickly on how there are some serious mind games that are being played here in this country that people, when they hear certain statements, they automatically jump on the bandwagon. They don't analyze what is being said, what they've seen, what they've heard. They just agree with the statement because it's coming out of the mouth of an official. Now, the judge in the Derek Chauvin trial, he says that Representative Maxine Waters' comments may be grounds for appeal for the defense. And so right away, um, anyone who heard her statement and they believed that her statement was insightful, in which I believe that her statement probably should have been kept to herself, but to try to say that it's insightful I think that's reaching. That's just my opinion. I think it's reaching, especially when we hear all of the violent rhetoric that is constantly hurled at black people and nothing happens. It doesn't matter who is saying it. These are threats that are going out. We're constantly seeing videos shared where this audio was leaked or that video was just right there out in the open saying, look, if the trial doesn't go our way, then let's start doing this, that, or the other to black people. I mean, people are actually saying that. And guess what? As they're saying it, they have their weapons in their hands. They're cocking the guns in the video. And they're basically trying to intimidate us. And they're sending dog whistles to everyone who feels the same way that they do. Hey, let's do this. If the, if the trial doesn't go in our favor, then let's do this to black people. We're supposed to quietly sit back and, and just say, oh, it's just words, it's just a video. We're supposed to sit back and just take it when they say these kinds of things. But when you hear someone say no justice, no peace, or um, what Maxine Waters said, which she said, um, if this case doesn't go in the way that it should go, that activists need to get more confrontational. Now, a lot of people say that, oh my God, that statement is so horrible. How could she say such a thing? They're trying to blow that out of proportion to make it seem like it's worse than anything that's ever been said. To me, that's a mind game. When we have heard people literally say, hey, kill them, hang them, drown them, shoot them. Talking about black people. I mean, they're telling you what they want to do to you. As a matter of fact, not only have they told us, but they have actually done it. That is the history of this country, where if something doesn't go their way, you'll see a black body hanging from a tree. And you have people saying that her remarks were abhorrent. Abhorrent. So what about the remarks of the people who said that they would want to put every black person inside of a big warehouse or a big building and set it on fire and, and listen and watch us burn and scream? I don't hear nobody saying that that's abhorrent. But when she says, look, she's pretty much saying no justice, no peace, or we've got to start defending ourselves. But in this country, you are not allowed to defend yourself if you are black. If it is the desire of someone to take your life, then you just have to deal with it. That's, that, that's what it sounds like. When you, when you look at this from a realistic standpoint, that's literally what we're being told. Don't fight back. Just lay down and die. If we want to do something to you, don't. T -t -t -sh -sh -sh. Don't do anything. Just stay calm. Stay calm. Don't do anything. Just let it happen. Now we know why these things are happening. I say it all the time that it was prophesied. But for this judge, in my opinion, for him to try to say that this is grounds for an appeal... Somebody needs to make that make sense to me. If Maxine Waters says something about the trial in, in regards to if this man just walks, if he walks for killing this man on camera for the whole world to see, then we need to start defending ourselves. To think that that 
is grounds for a mistrial. <laughs> he says, ultimately, the case could be dismissed. And the defense but to say but to say that the case could possibly be dismissed and that the defense has a motion for a mistrial, I don't see how her statement can connect to this case in such a way to where they can say all of the evidence presented all of the witness statements, all of this, that, and the other that happened, all of what we saw with our own eyes where this man was literally killed on camera before the whole world. Um, there's a mistrial because of a statement that she made. If you believe that, tell me in the comment section. I need you to make it make sense to me. How can her statement cause a mistrial? Somebody make it make sense to me. Now, I know that there are those of you who, because you are so much a part of this system, that you're going to make an excuse for it, period. Anything that happens to black people within this system, you're going to make an excuse for it. I mean, we know people personally. Listen to this, y'all. We know people personally, black people, who were on George Zimmerman's side. They called Trayvon Martin a thug and said that George had a right to defend himself. When, when I hear statements like that coming from a black person, I'm saying, so basically what you're saying, Mr. Black man or Ms., Mrs. Black woman, you're saying that if George Zimmerman pursued you at night with a gun and the same thing happened where he confronted you, you're saying that he had a right to take you out of here too, huh? Or are you saying that you just have to stand there and wait and figure out what he's going to do to you, that you're not going to in any way try to defend yourself and run, which is what Trayvon Martin did. So, of course, you will always have those so-called black people who are going to defend this system regardless. I saw no defense for George Zimmerman. Even the, all of the taunting afterward. I mean, to hear our people, to hear some people that we know personally and if you if you see this video i mean we we didn't agree then and we don't agree now no one knows who you are but to hear someone that we know personally some people that we know personally to say that george zimmerman had a right to do what he did to trayvon martin we are dealing with some minds that are so messed up that i don't i don't know if there's any hope for a mind that thinks like that when you look at that whole scenario on how he pursued the young man when asked not to, the young man got afraid, defended himself and tried to run, but was killed by this big giant man. I don't care what anyone says, says that will never make sense to me. But yet Kyle Rittenhouse He's a 17-year-old boy. In his case, he was the pursuer with a weapon already in hand. Shot two people. Now, if that were, if Carl Rittenhouse were Trayvon Martin, trust and believe he'd be in jail. And if George Zimmerman pursued Kyle Rittenhouse and the outcome was the same, trust and believe George would be in jail. If you don't believe that, then I, I have a bridge to heaven to sell you anyway i'm done i'm done with this topic in the comment section below share your thoughts if you haven't already subscribed to the channel share and like this video and with that i'm out